Welcome to our Prairie Farm Report on more useful inventions and innovations. Ron Wheeler is a product specialist with FlexiFinger Industries of Assiniboia, Saskatchewan, a company that recently became the Canadian distributor for the Liminator, a tree trimming attachment that can be mounted on a front end loader like the one on this skid steer. The invention resulted from a collaboration in the Stratford, Oklahoma area between Frank Casey and a neighbor who looks after 500 pecan trees. And he came up with a fresh prototype about four and a half years ago and saw the product and uh, I really loved the concept and so we kind of got together in, in establishing the company and he applied for a patent and I started building saws and he's an engineer also. The Liminator itself is about eight feet long so on an average front end loader it can reach up to 20 feet off the ground. Running this unit is quite different from using a chainsaw. Now I've got this tool that's up there 15 to 20 feet from me and I can't feel it. So I needed some type of visual guide that would let me know what we're doing. And that's why we have a strap on it. The strap that's on the back side here is my visual guide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it on top of a limb that I want to cut without the saw running. And then I take my loader and as I put a little down pressure with it, what I see is I see slack in that strap. That's my guide. That tells me I have all the pressure I want on the saw. Then I engage the hydraulics and I let only the weight of the saw itself, the head here, it's a free floating head. So that's going to float right through my cut. When I go through the cut, my strap gets tight. I turn the saw off and I'm repositioning for my next cut. For mounting the Liminator, they use a receiver hitch, which Ron Wheeler has on a bucket here, but it could also be mounted on a grapple fork. And at a slight angle, we can slide this, uh, the saw itself into the receiver hitch, and there's a bracket welded across the back here so that it slides in at an angle and automatically lines up your hole so that you're not out here trying to push and, and jiggle and wiggle the hole. The pin goes in nice and smooth and easy and uh, locked in, and it's basically mounted to your skid steer, the physical part. The hydraulic part then mounts to the hydraulics on your front end loader or on your, on your skid steer, on the grapple or on the bucket itself. And basically you're ready to go into uh, operation of the saw. Moving the saw into cutting position is a relatively simple one person job. Then to put it into working position we just lift this pin here, pull this pin here, we flip our saw around, this strap comes around to here, we flip this up to here, then we bring this strap up to the holes here and line up the pin to the strap. Put the strap in like that, put your pin, and we're now in working position. Okay, and you'll notice there's three different holes here. Mm -hmm. That is for adjustment for different size limbs. And what it does, it allows a, a more travel on your saw up and down on this with this strap. Frank Casey says the Liminator is designed not only for convenience, but it's also a whole lot safer than using a chainsaw. Number one is I'm away from the chain, so I'm not worried about kickback. And with that, we went with a real aggressive chain, meaning every tooth on this is a cutting tooth. But more importantly than that is there's more people that are hurt by branches that kick back and hit them. Now I'm cutting everything in front of me at a right angle. So therefore, those branches are falling out in front of my loader, not on me. The hydraulic motor which runs the saw only requires a flow of seven gallons per minute and gives the unit a very useful advantage. Now we have a chainsaw, I think the first, that has a reverse. Reverse on a chainsaw, the only time I really need something like that, hey, I'm up there and I happen to get it in a situation it starts to bind or pinch on me. Now if I spin that chain backwards, I'm helping kind of free the chain and the bar out of that cut and get it out and make my other cut. The Liminator only weighs 86 pounds, but they still made sure to put in enough weight where it is needed. We've got about 25 pounds here on this arm. That helps it aggressively go in on that cut. We've got enough torque and horsepower with the hydraulic motor. That's why we can set it on a limb without the saw running and then engage that. It's got enough power to start and to continue through. And the nice thing about hydraulics is the fact that we're turning at 5,000 RPMs here. Most gas chainsaws will turn anywhere from 10 to 15,000. So we're turning a third of the speed. But we have more torque and we have a continuous horsepower with the fluid of hydraulics. So we have more power to go through. 
The system is built with a number of common components to make it relatively easy to find replacement parts if required. The saw comes with an automatic oiling system. What we do to lubricate the bar and chain is that we come off of the hydraulics on the pressure side and we built in a little automatic oiler that lets a trickle of oil go up through into our journal. That's what lubricates our bar and chain. We use very little oil for the fact that most of the time the saw isn't running. You know, 95% of the time I'm trying to position the tool and then I make my cut, I turn the saw so it's not running much time at all. Since the Eliminator only weighs 86 pounds and requires just 7 gallons per minute from the hydraulics, the unit can be operated by almost any small tractor or skid steer. At the time of our visit, it was retailing for just under $2,200 in Canada.